Uh, out of all, when I have to travel to train Mikey every day, he knows I'm busy with Mikey and he trains with my with my assistants. You know, Marcus, my dad, does the same thing. Dude, you got uh, a really win so, uh, win so it, it, It's awesome, man. It, it's awesome. We have a great team. And I, I honestly don't think uh, there's any other gym in the world that, that has the other team like we do. If I'm, you know, this last two months I was traveling with Mikey every day and, and spending very little time in, the, in my gym, all my guys are taking it and have everything under control. We have many four-round fighters, six-round fighters, ten-round fighters that are, that are fighting that, that, you know, that are are happy fighting without me uh, around, but they, you know, they're doing a great job. My sisters are, are there to uh, battle. You're my, my an awesome trainer. You're a good brother. But I think you showed this week you're a better father. And I think I think we all respect the fact that you know what? That's only a one time. You know what? I have 20 more and you know fights. what? And you know what? My my son is 18, graduate of high school. I uh, I was fighting when I was when when he was started kindergarten and stuff like that. So I missed a lot of that, so I couldn't, I couldn't miss the graduation. Happy Father's Day. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Buenas empresas, trabajo junto con, con, con Golden Boy, trabajo junto con Top Rank y hoy soy, tengo la fortuna de, de tener esa, ese, es, 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 esos, esos equipos, ¿verdad? Tengo man, trabajo con manejadores de lo mejor del mundo, como es Cameron Duncan, como es Sebastián Contorsi, o sea, trabajo con lo mejor del mundo, así que estoy, estoy muy contento, estoy bendecido, gracias de que Dios me ha bendecido con esta, con esta carrera. Felicidades con tu hijo, con la graduación, un saludo para él. Muchas gracias. Hey Robert, the other day I interviewed Mikey y How's your weight? Which is kind of almost a throwaway question. Weight first thing, weight's never an issue. You know, Mikey has never had a, a weight problem. Yeah. Mikey always, always walks around no more than 10 pounds overweight. So when it comes to the week of the fight, he's two, three pounds and just water weight and still eating, still drinking his liquids. This time, you know, he didn't, he didn't say anything. The last, the, the last week before, uh, before the fight. Uh, I was very busy with my Dana, and, uh, and he didn't train for four days. He didn't train Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because he was feeling a little sick, a little, a little cold, and a little fever. Uh, that happens to most of the fighters when they're cutting weight. They start getting a little sick, so we we gave him those days. We had to rest. We couldn't push him, and he had to get his his, his, his liquids in the system. So so coming Monday when he came to the to the uh, to, to to Texas, he was way overweight. He thought he was still gonna make it, but it was just impossible. Those last two fights was impossible. You've been a champion. You've been a trainer. Whose responsibility, or is it equal responsibility for the fighter to make weight? No, it, it's it's always it's always our responsibility. Uh, no excuse. To, to excuse Mikey, you know, the fighters also, you know, I'm not with them 24-7, I'm not with Brian 24-7, they also have to have that responsibility, but, you know, I'm the one in charge, and I'm the one that uh, that's gonna get the blame, and I'm and, and, and I'm not ashamed of that. We know what Mikey went through. We know what what Brandon has gone through to make weight. Uh, it's not like 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 they don't try. It's not like they're out eating whatever they want. No, it's just those times where they just can't make it, and uh, and it's impossible. We're not the first ones that that happens to, and won't be the last ones. Will he go to 130? I know you've already been asked this. Well, but he, uh, you know, I think that's that's what everybody's saying. Aaron mentioned it. Cameron Duncan told us that uh, our next fight could be against Rocky Martinez. Uh, Mikey says he would love that, and if he, if he was comfortable, he'll stay at 130, but he also knows that he lost his featherweight title at the scale, so he wants to come back and gain that title again, and, and I know that that's a possibility also. He wants to uh, win that title 130 if we get that shot, and then come back down to win his title again. He told me four pounds was no big deal. Exactly, and, and if he's comfortable at 130, then you know, he could do 126. It's just the, the fact that, you know, this last four days before, before he came to, uh, to Texas, couldn't train, couldn't, couldn't uh, had to eat, had to get his liquids, so that gained him a few pounds. The fact that he did what he did, even after what happened, you know, yesterday. Everybody forgets everything, right? Everybody right, forgets about so, talking bad. Yeah. Now he looks sensational. Now he's the right. one of the best talking bad. Does that take hey, care of everything? Of course it does. Look, I had a, I had a bad night uh, uh, the night before my Dana fought with John Molina on ESPN. He lost the fight. And, you know, my fighter, you know, I feel bad. But I come back and uh, and the next day uh, my Dana wins 
with a tremendous knockout against Jose Lopez. Nobody, everybody forgets about the night before, and now it's you know it's it's Maidana's win that that's important. Same thing here, you know. Yesterday, the weight was a problem, and everybody was very upset and criticizing. But now with this win and this performance, I think we is that, is that uh, we got nothing to lose. Is that how you help these fighters? Because you've been there on the mental side more than anything. I, th I think that's that's very very important. Uh, uh, it's happened with with all of my fighters. I, I I could tell you stories about Brandon. People know about him. Mikey, Maidana, uh, things that happened during the during the minute break that I that I that I tell them that I try to push them, motivate them, make them perform better, and it works. It's perfect. Robert, thank you. Always good to see you. Thank you, Coach. Quick question. Yes. How anxious were you before the first bell sounded uh, for this fight tonight? No, well, we, you know, we we always very patient, very very calm. We know Mikey fights like that, and uh, we know we uh, we're gonna have uh, Mikey's great performance, like always. But it was it wasn't more. It wasn't that we were anxious. It was more we were a little worried because of the weight issue. Right. He he did, you know, he tried and he had to throw up. He he uh, he woke up this morning still with uh, blurry vision, with double vision, and you know where he was worried. But uh, went back to sleep, had his liquids, food, and he started feeling better. And you know you know so we were a little worried. Great. Now, how did it feel after you put him on the canvas the first time? Well, you know after the first round, Mikey controlling with the jab and landing some great some great some great jabs and uh, and uh, controlling the pace. Even though it was a close fight, could have been an even round, could have been been a, a one more round. I seen that it was going to be. My Mikey's fight. Uh, then he landed a beautiful straight right and dropped him. And uh, even though Juanma wasn't very hurt, he was still dangerous. Still, he was still looking for the fight. Mikey kept fighting smart. Mikey, Mikey kept fighting with his, with you know, very patiently. Right. That's just the, the way Mikey fights. It was just a matter of time, and it happened in the fourth round. I, I, you know, we thought it could go to eight, nine, ten right. rounds. Uh, he connected with a perfect punch, hurt him really bad, and uh, the ref stopped it. Great. And he's going to stay at this weight. Well. Not, I'm not. I'm not telling you that he's gonna stay because there. You know, he didn't make weight, so Aram's already. Aram and Cameron Duncan. They're already talking about us fighting Rocky Martinez at 130. Right. If if Cameron works out, a, you know, a good date, HBO, you know, then we'll do it. But Mikey, Mikey doesn't want to go out out of the featherweight division by losing his title on the scale. He says after after fighting Martinez, if, if, if everything goes well, he wins the title and he feels like he could still do it. He'll come down to one twenty six and get his title again. Because uh, you know, it's just I think it for him it's more like a shame that he lost on the scale and he wants to come back, prove to everybody that it was you know he had problems uh, a few days before. Win the title and then come back to win. I'm pretty sure that's what he wants. Well, that's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Robert, Eduardo, del Diario Altia. Una pregunta. ¿Cuál va a ser el cuál va a ser el futuro de Mike? Pues mira, este con Mike tenemos una carrera larga en realidad. Hay que saber que Mike tiene carrera para 10 años sí. de, de una de, 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 de buena carrera. Es un peleador muy inteligente, no recibe castigo, así que él puede pelear por 10 años sano uh, y a gusto. Ahora, ahorita se está hablando de que posiblemente ya peleemos con Rocco Martínez. Uh, el, el, pues no, en realidad no sé, es algo que Cameron Duncan va a ver, tienen que, tienen que hablar y si, y si nos conviene, si es algo que, que nos interesa, lo vamos a hacer. Como dijo Mike, él, él siente que él todavía puede hacer el peso pluma y yo sé que él no quiere irse perdiendo el, el, el campeonato en la báscula, él quiere venir conquistar otra vez su campeonato y entonces ya volverse a subir a la 130 porque él, sé que sé que sí, sí se puede, pero si, si, está, si nos conviene en la 130 Rocky Martínez, una pelea HBO, o sea si todo sale a, a que tenemos que favorecer eso entonces lo vamos a hacer y quizás nos quedemos ahí y no tengamos que bajar a peso pluma, pero yo sé que Mikey, él quiere volver a, a conquistar el peso pluma porque no le gustó la idea de perder en la báscula